The last headphone is the captivity. The galaxy is Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Bren. I'm Dan. And what are we looking at today, Dan? I think it's called Space Cards. Uh, no. Oh, it's grunts, isn't it? Yeah. Space Grunts! You may have seen this kicking around on the Google Play Store. Perhaps you flicked over it without giving it a second look, or maybe 8-bit style gaming isn't to your taste. Well, give me a few minutes here, and let's take a look at what makes this so fun. So, what is it? Well, Space Grunts is a turn-based, 8-bit, randomly generated dungeon game. You pick one of three characters and get dropped off on a moon base that's mysteriously activated its distress beacon. Once there, you will quickly realise that it's been taken over by things that want to pull your insides out and decorate the walls with them. Your goal is to stop them from doing that and reach the game's end boss. Battling your way through its gruelling levels is a joy, rather than the traditional method of using numbers to move characters to different squares on a map, you just move through it. While you're stationary, so is everything else. It's great as you can plan out your attacks, switch to appropriate weaponry, use inventory items, but rather than being slow, it keeps its arcade action high. There are plenty of enemy types that vary in their ways of attacking, from worms that stick to your back to this huge spiny bastard that will fire ballistic flame shite at you. There are soldiers, turrets, ninja thieving gits that take your stuff off you if you don't hit them quickly enough, frog shits, onion bastards, and my favourite chum wanker of them all, the box mimic. Seriously, this guy can be a run ender, and he hides in a box. He can eat all of the dicks. <laughs> There are differences between the three initial characters that will make each run more unique. The captain has medium strength, crap tech, but is amazingly lucky. This helps with finding items in crates, for example. The strong arm is, as you would imagine, lots of strength, medium tech, but terrible at finding anything. And lastly, the tech junkie. Her firepower is minimal, but her tech usage is very good, and she's the character I actually managed to get the furthest with. Now, it isn't easy to complete at all. As it's randomly generated, you will have runs that will be over in a few minutes, or you can have a run that will last well over an hour. This obviously depends on how careful you are too, and of course skill and weapon choice plays a huge part. But even if you die, starting again is like a whole new game and it's all different, so multiple playthroughs never feel like a chore. There are also secret rooms to find, and hidden caves and shortcuts to take. On your way, you'll find items to use. There are a lot of these, and their effects vary. You can, for example, acquire a damage absorber. Once activated, your character will take reduced damage for the next few hits, or you can get a shot doubler that will give your weapon a shot boost. Boots that allow you to walk on goo, a gas mask to get through radiated areas, the list goes on. There's plenty of tech items that help to make Space Grunt's gameplay richly rewarding and fresh each time you play. You can also pick up permanent items that increase your overall health and damage with certain weapons, as well as data cards that give you info on the game's enemies and other objects in the game. You can of course unlock achievements too, extending the life of the game even more. There's an option of doing a daily run that can land you on the daily leaderboard, as well as world rankings to keep you on your toes. And the best part about it is at the time of recording, it's only $2.99 from the Google Play Store. That's less than a beer these days. You may be wondering why we want to point this one out. Well, it's taken the turn-based genre in a different direction. Live turn-based combat isn't necessarily new, but I love the way that Space Grunts has implemented it in its no-fuss arcade way with its 8-bit style. With lots of variety, Space Grunts is a game that will keep you returning for another try. I highly recommend it to anyone, landing this with a Gamegasm 9. It sets out to let you have some fun, and is perfect for anyone looking to satisfy a taste of some old-school gaming. You know, that time when games were good and focused a lot on simple mechanics and enjoyment? Yeah, that time. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? And that was Space Grunts. What a fantastic little game. It looks like really good fun, actually. It looks like you could just sit down with that on a Sunday morning and still be there at midnight. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely one that you can keep playing through and yeah. all the different little power-ups. And yeah. I found, like, actually trying to plan and, and take your time. Yeah. I mean, you can rush through it. So it's live play, but there's still a big element of strategy in, yeah. in how you get through each Yeah, the uh, world. Because obviously every time you move a square, yeah. the enemies will move yeah. or not move. And you never or... know where they're going to go, do you? That's right. Yeah, you can kind of like try and predict it, but yeah. it's, it's quite difficult. 
Uh, and yeah, planning um, like your item management yeah, yeah. and like you know, oh should I should I attack that enemy because I'll probably lose a bit of health, or should yeah. I just go for the door and um, you know searching around for hidden areas and trying to get the best gear and stuff. It's uh, it's really nice, and I really like that each world is randomly generated every yeah. time you play. So you you never really gonna get bored of this, are you? No, so no. I'm gonna have something new. There's there's sometimes you'll see room layouts that look familiar yeah but um, within e each different level like progression like when you go up through the yeah. levels um, there's like different lighting styles different yeah. areas they have different like um, environmental yeah. like aspects like acid and, yeah, and yeah. toxic radiation zones and stuff like that so it's all quite varied and yeah it just feel like it it just every time you play you're not really sure what yeah. you're gonna get. Completely different style of game, but it's made me think of Worms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah it's, it's quite different similar. every time. Yeah. Same gameplay, but different, different every different time. level every time. Yeah, so uh, well done for that. I uh, really, really enjoyed that game. Yeah, so two ninety nine. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Absolutely. It cost for that me much gameplay. Three pound twenty. It cost me for a pint of beer the other night, and and it lasted about forty minutes. Yeah, and it probably didn't taste very nice. It, well, it was alright. Was it alright? Okay. Okay. Right. I like beer. You didn't go to the pub I went to then. Oh dear. It wasn't new beer. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, that's all the time we've got for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like. Also subscribe and share the video if you think it was worth sharing. Hey! hey. I've been Bren. I've been Dan. And we've been Game Gasm.